The following program is intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. This I've got to see. It's worth watching, so stay tuned. Welcome Friday, January 8th, 2021. Let's go ahead and start the show. I've got some comedy. Yesterday we shared uh, Close Encounters with SNL, and Chris <laughs> Belfry told me that the second one is even better. And I'm like, okay, I believe you. It's a little bit long, but that's okay. I may actually show the first half of it at the beginning and then the second half at the end. We'll see how we get into it. <laughs> I haven't seen this one. Uh, I haven't either. I just like, <laughs> I'm trusting you guys. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Happy that you're here. Oh, yeah, you are a man starting to rise in the world. I think that said get her wet. I didn't read the headline before for some reason. Yeah, Cynthia Sexcapade spot today. Get her wet with just a finger. I'm looking forward to that. Getting <laughs> getting her wet with with just a finger. Yeah. So if you if you haven't met this beautiful woman to my left, probably you're right on the screen. I don't know how that works. She's the only woman allowed in the show. Welcome, Cynthia. Hi. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thanks for having me. And happy Friday. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's get into it. I've got about. Two and a half minutes from David Data, the continuation of tracking her heart at the edge of darkness today. It's about how to watch her body language. Maybe her tush and her bush aren't out. I don't know. Or maybe her choco taco aren't out, but she's going to give you feedback. And I found that she's giving you way more feedback than you're used to, than you're used to paying attention to, let's say. I spoke with the man who said two years ago, he had no idea what was going on, basically watching her body language. And today he can guess if she's upset about something, if she's you know ready to escalate sex, if she is holding something back, he's aware of all these things and he's starting to push that ninja level awareness emotionally of what's going on with her. And I, and I think that's all, all of us have come to this not knowing that was even a thing, not knowing we could even be aware of what was going on to the point where we're practiced and we then have the choice whether to approach her or not. We have the choice to dance in the art of relationship and sex and lovemaking. Petrowski and Cynthia and I were on a relaunch call actually last night. And one, one of the men said that he felt stupid because he was being triggered by the situation that was going on with his, you know, with his woman. And None of this is intended, of course, for us to feel stupid. That's the little boy reaction or the junior reaction inside of us that thinks, you know, we're supposed to have this all figured out. And it's not about having it all figured out. It's not black and white. It's not being perfect. Uh, there's another gentleman that was posting on the forum actually this morning and last night. I hope he comes on today, but he's not on here just yet. It's not about perfection. Oh, there's two pages. Look at you guys. I got to open this up even bigger. It looks like Ken came in stout to teach. To, I don't even know what that says. To teach or not to teach. There we go. I got it. I get yes. I get a high five for fucking being not a moron. Joe's here. Jason came in. JK came in. J Bar. Patrick's here. Yeah, phenomenal guys. Good to see you. Ian's here again, of course. Mr. Malloy jumped in as well. So yeah, it's not about black or white and having it all figured out or not. It's about uh, what. What jet ski are we renting today? What catamaran are we renting today? Or what cruise ship are we getting on today? Different forms of relationship, different forms of sexuality, and knowing how to drive the jet ski, the catamaran, or what to do on the cruise ship. That's what, metaphorically, I was talking about that this morning. That's what we're looking to learn here. That's why you're here. You're here for tribe. You're here to learn the ninja skills. You're here to hear some fringe shit, and you're here to get your questions answered as well. So I definitely would love for you yeah, Dan says, what is that, dinner? You hit it right, coming back for seconds. Well, the little gray, the little gray men want seconds, apparently, Dan. <laughs> I know we all want seconds sometimes, too. That's good. That's good to know. So, yeah, ask your questions today. I have two questions from the forum. I've got a few minutes from David Data, but it's, it's Friday, and I'm hoping you guys are talkative. I want you to ask questions. Yesterday, we did a lot more presenting, which, you know, is cool, too. I definitely want to put things on the table if you guys have a question either. Uh, hey, I want to take this to the next level, or this is the f situation I'm looking at. What do I do about this? Or you want to put a challenge up to the men here? Yeah, JK, go for it. Let's have you jump in. Um, I'm willing to share what happened with um, my, you know, my situation yesterday. 
um, with my significant other. Um, yeah, let's do it right now. Go for it. Go for it, JK. Yeah. So thanks. Thanks, Jeff. So, uh, yeah, I'm on relaunch on the, um, the Tuesday call for those of you that are on the, uh, Thursday call, uh, nice to meet you all. <laughs> but, um, basically Jeff was giving me some, um, J Jeff and I have been speaking since July and, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was an amazing, um, meeting. I was just, you know, straight up present, um, and it really came off well. So I can't describe, um, basically, um, I was always so worried. And I think, um, one of the, you know, I know you talk, you've been talking recently in the past week about, um, habitual habits of extinction, extinction or habitual, I forgot the exact term, Joe. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> extinguishing habits. Yeah. How extinguishing extinguish habits. habits. Yeah. Okay. So it definitely felt like the first time I know that takes a while. That's a whole process that could take years in some cases, you know what I mean? But, um, I being more present than ever, and instead of having a game plan and working on a formula and being nervous, um, you know, part of me had also sort of given up, not given up on the relationship, but given up on, uh, you know, letting that create tension within me, you know, having the game plan, worrying so much, it just creates so much tension that, you know, I was just totally cool. You definitely helped guide me a little bit, but um, in terms of, you know, it was, our, it was our third conversation about separation or divorce. And it was just like, yeah, let's, you know, no problem. You know, the first few times years ago it was uh, so much tension, fighting, not talking for a month or two, sometimes sleeping on the couch. This time yesterday, I know this sounds so silly, um, but I think in the past two years, it was the first time her, <laughs> it was the first time her toe touched me in bed. <laughs> so I'm just laughing because normally it's like a four foot, you know, we have like a California a California king. She's she's in the other room. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we have like a California king, so we're like, you know, like light years away from one another. But um, yeah. All of a sudden, like I I I feel something. I'm like, what is that? I'm like, holy shit, that's her. Like that's her leg. She's facing me. You know, it might sound like a little silly, but um, whether we go forward with divorce or not. Um, the fact the conversation was about going on to version two um we're throwing out version one and uh it felt great it was very liberating to just again be present feel things at the moment remain calm um you know body body position voice you know was, i guess that's been a hot topic recently you know the uh let's do the physical part first and then the mental part will sort of fall into place if that's some people that's a big concern. They can't get the mental part going. So if you do the physical part, you know, sometimes the mental will just, you know, fall into place. But other than that, um, yeah, she's sm smiling at me, joking around with me, cooking. I, I'm telling you, dude, it's there's a lot of crazy shit going on. So <laughs> anywho, uh, anywho. Uh, yeah. like mind blowing, she's being nice to me. Like I yeah. love it. I love it. Like <laughs> she she still does want to go to the mediator but like you and i were discussing yesterday <clears throat> um i have no problem with it but yeah it, it's forget about that that's like not even a concern to me honestly you, you know um and the fact that it's not i think is you know making her open up a lot more so yeah definitely ninja ninja uh level <laughs> or i'd like to believe i'd like to say that you know so I <laughs> definitely man <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. Well, yeah. They to watch the rest of this episode for free and other episodes, go to greatmenmovemountains.com slash VIP. Punch in your info and watch the rest for free. Get more affection, love, and sex in your marriage. Get less paralyzing fear and rejection. Never miss an episode. Watch anytime, anywhere, 3 a.m. on the toilet. Get full episodes. GreatMenMoveMountains.com forward slash VIP. The C-Note Show. This I've got to see. It's worth watching, so stay tuned.